Hey everybody, welcome back to Zach Tech Reviews. On this channel we look at tech, mobile accessories and gadgets and I wanted to give you guys a closer look at the in-display fingerprint sensor on the Vivo X20 Plus UD smartphone. If you looked at my previous unboxing and you can check out the card here or check out the link below, you know that this phone has an in-display fingerprint sensor. It's right here, it lights up. Put your thumb on, where you go, or whatever finger you do, uh, you do scan there. And I did have some questions from a few people on Twitter and in the comment section of previous videos asking me, you know, show it using other fingers, how do we know it's not just a touch. So what I wanted to show you guys first and foremost is what the technology looks like. So if you guys actually look at this picture right here, you can see what the actual sensor looks like that's actually underneath the display. Take a look there. I'll leave a link down below for Synaptic's website as well. You can read more about it. But that's basically what's underneath the display. What I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna power off the phone here because it's easier to show on a black screen here because you can't see it once the, the screen is turned on here. Hopefully you guys can see that right there. I'm gonna turn up the brightness here a little bit. Do you guys see that little square right there? Hopefully you guys can see that right there. There's your sensor right there. That's kind of orangey looking square. So that's the only time I've ever noticed it when the phone is off. Otherwise the display is really bright. Now you'll probably notice here that it's on an, an, an angle. Why isn't it square? The reason for that is Synaptics and Vivo said is because most thumbs are coming at an angle. But you'll see here when I, sh when I demonstrate for you guys that you can scan this way, you can turn your phone this way, whatever you need to do. So let's go ahead and power on the phone here. Once the phone is started up here, basically you just want to do a swipe here. You're going to have to enter your code. You don't use your thumbprint initially, but the way you go. So anyway, I'm going to power off the phone here. As you can see here, the fingerprint sensor uh, part. I'm actually going to bring my camera down here and let you guys have a, a closer look here. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. As you'll see here, the fingerprint sensor uh, portion right here does not light up until the phone is lifted or if you wake it up with the power button aside. So I'm going to actually lift the phone. And as soon as I lift it, you guys saw that? The sensor area did turn on. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that back down. We're gonna put our camera back here and we'll zoom out properly here. Okay, perfect. So again, lifting up the phone, placing my thumb on, and we'll be go. So obviously it's not as fast as traditional fingerprint sensors, but uh, you know, the, whole, the whole idea is you get the entire screen. There's nothing being used on the back. You still get this nice gorgeous back here. By the way, this back here is very slippery. It is an aluminum. I have been using the uh, the OEM case that came with it. It's a soft touch. Really, really nice there from Vivo. So I'll be putting that back on. But anyway, as you can see here with my thumb, I can put it on this way. It's, it's, it's red properly. I can put it on this way. Red properly. I'll turn the phone. Red properly. So any which way. Now I'm going to try a different finger here, for example. I'll try my index. And there's a little bit of vibration feedback. Nothing visual. It's a third try right now. So on a third try, you have to enter your code. So I'll just enter the four digit code that, are, that I've entered and away you go. So again, I'll try, I'll try a different finger here. So that's my first try. There's a little bit of vi vibration feedback. There's a second try with a finger and we'll try this finger right here. Third try and still nothing. Try again. So after a couple of tries there, it will ask you for a code or you can use your thumb. So again, you can see there, does not work with my thumb on this hand, but we'll work with this one right here. So it is actually reading my fingerprint, okay? So no issues there at all. So there you go, guys. There's another look at the in-display fingerprint sensor on the X20 Plus UD smartphone from Vivo. Really impressive technology. Hopefully we see this come to the table with some other brands like Apple, Samsung, etc. I have a feeling we're probably going to see this on the OnePlus 6 and the reason I say that is the parent company that owns OnePlus also owns Vivo. If you guys found this content helpful please leave a thumbs up it would be appreciated. Think about hitting that subscribe button as well and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Cheers.